I'm Kelsey and today I'm going to be sharing with you the food that I am taking to vacation so that I can stay keto while we are away. Uh, my family and I try to go away about once a year for about a week and um, I have just found that I'm able to stay keto and prepare well enough. So um, I just kind of wanted to share the things I have basically shopped my freezer and my refrigerator and just prepped um, a little bit. There is kind of a fine line between over preparing and not preparing enough. You kind of have to find a middle ground that works for you. One thing that has helped me is knowing that a Walmart is always like 10 or 20 minutes away. So we can always go to Walmart and get more things, uh, more food if I need something else. Uh, but what I plan on doing is I'm going to make sure I have breakfast, coffee stuff, electrolytes, and then I have planned like four or five lunches um, that I'm going to be eating with the family. Um, and then if we go out to eat, I'll have some extra meals available. And I'm planning on trying to skip most dinners just cause that's kind of how my fasting window goes anyway. Um, so I'm planning lunches and if we go out to eat and I feel like eating more, um, I can always order a keto option while I'm out. So the first thing is breakfast. This is an egg bake casserole and I've already tasted some of it. Um, but this is about eight servings of egg bake, and so this will feed me all week, every single morning. I'll just have a piece of this with my coffee, my fatty coffee, um, and then I will be done for breakfast. And buffalo chicken dip, my daughter and I eat this. Um, this is just frozen, it's ready to pop right into the oven, and I am gonna serve it with tortilla chips for my husband. I also cut up a bunch of vegetables. We have celery that I'll dip in that, um, bell peppers, and then also cucumbers. So I like to have some vegetable options around for the kids um, and myself. My chicken pot pie, which I did in my um, in my freezer meal prep video, so I have one of those. My the whole family will eat on this one. Um, I always take my taco meat. My taco meat is so easy. I just pop it in the refrigerator like the night before that we're going to eat it, and then I'll just heat it up in the microwave. It's so easy. It's ready to go. You can eat it with chips, or you can eat, like put it on a quesadilla for the kids. Um, I since it's vacation, I am treating myself to some Quest chips. These are tortilla style protein chips, and these are the chili lime. I do not get these very often. These are basically made with protein powder and has lots of ingredients and it's not, it's not the best option, but it is an option. Um, and it, the one bag is a total of four carbohydrates. Um, so, you know, total of four occasionally. These are really tasty and they just make you feel like you're not totally missing out on the chip thing. So I will have that at least once or twice this week. Another thing that I did today was I prepped some of my white chicken chili without beans um, and then I'm going to add sour cream and I'm going to add sour cream and heavy cream to it so I put my instructions on the top. So another meal that I am planning on eating is corned beef and cabbage. So I, I do have to pick up cabbage, potatoes, carrots, and onions, but this will just go, I bring my Instant Pot. I've, I bring my Instant Pot and I use that throughout the week, but this will just go in the Instant Pot, you know, on the slow cook, uh, the slow cook on high for like, you know, six hours or something. And it'll be really tender and delicious to eat. Um, but this is, I'm excited to eat this because it's um, St. Patrick's Day soon and we got these on sale at the store this week. This is my cheese ball that we are going to be having. Um, I will eat this with celery. I will be bringing some crackers for my kids and my husband, uh, but I will be eating this with celery or bell peppers. Um, it's just really tasty and it's just like a high fat, delicious option. I have five lunches that I plan on eating with my family and these are all keto friendly, very low carb. Um, so I feel set for my meals, but I do leave some room for eating out because that is kind of what vacation is. Vacation is something where you, you know, take it easy a couple of days here and there and you don't always prepare every single thing for every meal. Um, so I leave some room for eating out. A couple other things that I like to bring to, with me when I go to a hotel. Um, we do, we will have a kitchen in our hotel. So I am actually going to bring 
one of my good old um, cast iron skillets. This way I can cook on the stovetop with something that I'm familiar with. I don't have to worry about the food sticking or like having an old gross nonstick pan that is probably pretty toxic. Um, yeah, so I always try to bring one of my own pans and one of my own um, spatulas so that I have some tools that I'm used to using. And when I go to a hotel, I always, they usually have a full size coffee pot and I always bring my own coffee grounds. Um, so I have my coffee grounds are freshly poured in there. Um, I'm going to bring some Earl Grey tea um, because I do like having a warm cup of tea in sometimes when my fasting window is still going. Um, I am going to bring my mineral drops for my electrolytes, but I will be adding that to my element. I have a couple of different flavors in there. I have some chocolate salts in there that I can make into hot cocoa if I want some hot cocoa. Um, so that's always great. I am going to bring my frother. I will try to link this in the description of the video of this video, but I use this frother when I go. I'm also going to bring butter because I need to have butter when I go away. So I'm going to bring butter and heavy cream for my coffee. And I always bring a mug from home because I just, I don't feel like hotels have the big mugs that I'm used to and I just like something that feels familiar and cozy and homey. I bring a salt shaker and I always put it in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't go everywhere in my stuff. And then I also bring um, a cooking spray from home. This is just the bottle that I've reused over and over, but this has avocado oil in it, so I know I'm gonna have a good oil at the hotel. I hope that um, it's helpful to kind of look into what I do to stay keto on vacation. Um, I know sometimes it's not as easy to bring food along, but for for our family and the situation that we're in, we this works for us, and it just, it helps, it helps save money on our budget because taking us out to eat every single meal of every single meal of every day of vacation would get kind of expensive. But there are five of us and we all eat pretty well. So I hope this video was helpful. If you go on vacation and you stay keto, comment below. Let me know your best tips um, when you're traveling, how you stay keto, um, or maybe you don't stay keto. What do you do on vacation? Um, I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys do and please like and subscribe. And um, I hope wherever you are today, you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon, friends.